Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Solana and I am here to give you a video on the full moon in Cancer that's happening on January 6, 2023 at 6.08 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And can you believe that we are almost already in 2023? Time just flies so fast, but ready for the new beginnings. So this full moon in Cancer is sometimes called the wolf moon or the center moon. And it's also a micro moon, which in comparison to the, a super moon, it, it appears a lot smaller than it actually is. The moon is the farthest point away from the sun when it's a micro moon. Now we know the significance of a full moon is for uh, healing and inner work, reflection, shining a light on the dark things. Uh, looking into our subconscious, right? It's a great time for shadow work, inner healing, feeling your emotions, things like that. And now with the moon being in Cancer, okay? First, let's talk about Cancer. Cancer is a cardinal water sign. And of course, you know, Cancer is ruled by the moon. Now, as a cardinal water sign, Cancer is an initiator, okay? It's, it's fluid though. So Cancer likes to get things going and it, it can be flexible, um, but it's not like mutable water. It's cardinal water um, and it's nurturing and sensitive and it just goes with the flow. It rolls with the tides, right? And so because the Cancer energy is always shifting, right? Cancer is very moody. And so you can expect during this time for your emotions to shift as well. You can expect for there to be like an up and down in how you feel. And so one minute you might be happy and playful and then the next minute you might be angry and retreating in your shell, right? Because cancer is symbolized by the crab and the crab, although it's hard on the outside, like it, it presents this tough exterior, on the inside it's soft and mushy. And um, let's see, Cancer is emotional and it has a keen sense of awareness. Cancer is very perceptive. Cancer is like borderline psychic energy, like very intuitive, very perceptive, very feeling. It rules the subconscious. So like I said, you can expect like you to be really tapped in during this time. Cancer also rules the fourth house, and we know the fourth house is the house of the home, the inner private life. Some people say the mother, some people say the father, okay? So during this time, it's great for you to connect with your inner self. Just get a sense of how you feel, who you are. Now, when the moon is in Cancer... Like I said, the moon rules Cancer, so it loves being here in Cancer. It's at home in Cancer. It's happy in Cancer. And we can expect, like I said, for us to feel our emotions very, very deeply, really sensitive during this time. Uh, a plus, though, is it's not like being sensitive is a downside, but a plus of the moon being in Cancer, we will experience an increase in our imagination and our creativity because cancer is very creative. Again, it's ruled by the mother, the feminine yin energy, the moon. And so with that, you, you think of generation creation. So cancer is a very creative sign. This is going to be a time where you receive like divine inspiration. Okay, you're going to have an influx of thoughts and ideas coming to you and just you're going to feel inspired to create something. Be sure that any seeds that are sprouted in your mind are seeds that you planted and that nobody else planted, all right? And also, there's going to be a greater need for solitude as well, just because, again, cancer represents the inner self, the private life. And so you might feel this shift to kind of recluse within yourself or your shell, and um, especially if you're an empath, by the way, because empaths are already sensitive. And with the moon being in such a sensitive sign, you can expect an increase in your sensitivity and how you're feeling. And you just might feel called to pull away from some people. And you might need to do that, like to protect your energy. So this is a great time to spend uh, or take some 
make an effort to nurture yourself, right? Um, mother yourself, heal yourself, focus on your needs during this time with the full moon being in Cancer. And also, um, give yourself grace for the emotions, the, the shift in the moods, the shift in all the emotions that you um, might be feeling during this time. Give yourself grace for all of that. So let's talk about the numerology of the Cancer full moon. So January 6, 2023 is happening on a five day. And five represents change, movement, freedom. Uh, and this is a time for us to like shake things up. Like I said, go with the flow. If you meet resistance in any area, like if you've been hitting blocks resistance, just kind of step back and allow, get to a place of being rather than doing, okay? Now, five also represents our five senses, touch, taste, smell, sight, hearing. So it's a, it's a good time to really um, get in touch with sensory perceptions, okay? Um, five is expansive, it's versatile, and it might be a great day for you to explore your sensitivity and your emotions in a different way, right? So as far as like going within, taking some time to yourself, it would be great for you to do some things that kind of um, allow you to tap into your senses in a freer way. So like, for example, like when you're eating, Take some time to really analyze the texture and the flavors of the food that you're eating. You know what I mean? Like when you're outside, like feel the breeze on your skin, feel the sun touching your skin, you know? So just, just keep that in mind. Now, being that cancer is a cardinal water sign, it sets the stage for our, our mood and can affect our entire day either positively or negatively, right? And so this day, this Cancer full moon, it's a time for you to honor your emotions and how you feel. And if you encounter any lower emotional vibrations, don't get stuck there, okay? Don't get stuck in lower energies that pull you down. I know sometimes going back to the resistance, we can, I know this used to be a huge thing for me. Like if say it was like the start of a new day and then like something went wrong, it could be like eight o'clock in the morning. And just because that one thing went wrong, my entire day would be ruined. So I'm saying, don't let that happen. If there's something that uh, comes up for you during this time, during this cancer full moon, especially on that day, that kind of shifts you in a negative way, find a way to move through that and kind of ride through it rather than letting it keep you down or keep you stuck, okay? Now, let's talk about how you can harness the energy of the Cancer full moon. So first things first, the first thing I'd recommend is to cleanse your aura, clean, clear your energy, just like release any emotional baggage, any uh, subtle baggage, anything that's kind of like weighing you down and bogging you down. And I say that just because cancer, like I said, is such an intuitive and uh, sensitive sign and it can pick up a lot of activity from other fields, other energy fields. It can pick up other energy from other people. And so this is a great time to really be intentional about cleansing your aura. So, you know, I made a video on how to cleanse your aura. You can check it out up here somewhere. I'll leave the link up there for you. And you can watch that to find out different ways that you can cleanse your aura. So that's the first thing. The second thing is emotional release. Okay, and what do I mean by that? <clears throat> A lot of the times, uh, especially for men, like they are prohibited or discouraged from expressing emotion, right? And not just men, people in general, but I find that men especially, right? And so during this time, this is a wonderful time for you to just release any emotions that you have, put them out there. Uh, you know, if you're feeling sad and you want to cry, 
watch a sad movie that's going to bring on the tears so you can let out that sadness. If you're feeling happy and you want to jump for joy, create a playlist on Spotify or YouTube that makes you want to dance and move. And especially like if there's any sort of um, like trauma that you've been holding on to, uh, we store trauma in our hips. And so one way that we can release that energy and those traumatic emotions, memories, is by moving our hips. So shaking your hips, dancing, uh, yoga, hip openers, things like that. So find a way to release your emotions. Scream at the top of your lungs. Yell. Uh, use your voice, okay? Be very vocal with it. Laugh as loud as you want to. Cry as loud as you want to. This is a time to release any emotional baggage that you've been holding onto. And the third thing to do is reassess your boundaries, okay? Cancer, <laughs> cancer is, huh, cancer can be a people pleaser, right? Cancer is that mothering energy that wants to take care of and nurture and it's very emotional, very aware of other people's feelings and, um, you know, just their energy. And so sometimes with that awareness, cancer shoves their own emotions or feelings or needs down to focus on somebody else's, right? And so this is a time for you to reassess your boundaries. If there's anything that has been draining your energy, anyone that has been draining your energy, and you haven't uh, set up boundaries around that thing, now's the time to set up some boundaries, all right? If there's been some areas where you've kind of let your boundaries slide a little bit and now people are like kind of taking advantage of that, put them back up, right? You can always say no. You can always change your mind. Nothing is set in stone. You have the power to go back on something if you initially agree to do something and then you really think about it and, you know, it doesn't align with you. You can go back and say, actually, you know what? I don't want to do this. Whatever the case may be. Now, during this full moon in Cancer, reassess your boundaries, figure out what it is that you will and you will not accept, figure out what it is you're willing to compromise on and what is an absolute, no, I'm not compromising on that at all. All right, so those are the three things you can do during this full moon in Cancer. And the affirmations for this full moon are, before I please anyone, I please myself. I hold space and grace for my emotional state. I am light and free, and so is my energy. All right? So those are the three affirmations that you can use for this Cancer full moon. Um, and it encourages you to, to heal. It, it encourages you to feel at home within yourself. Okay? I'm so excited for this Cancer full moon because if you saw... The most recent video that I put up, I'm stepping into this new energy and feeling at home within myself without thinking or worrying about what other people think or how they feel about me or their opinions. Like seven year, time to focus on me and my needs. I hope you do the same. I'm encouraging you to do the same. Um, and with this Cancer Moon, it's a time to take care of your well-being, your physical well-being, your emotional and mental well-being honor your feelings without any judgment, okay? And allow them to flow with the rhythm of the moon. The moon's all about cycles and rhythms and um, just don't hold on to any feelings. Just, just be free and flow and release, you guys, release. Keep your energy light and lifted. Uh, cleanse your aura, cleanse your subtle body as often as you need to and not just on the full moon, okay? Especially, again, if you're an empath, right? You, this is something you want to be doing like every single day because we pick up energy easily and sometimes without us cleansing that energy, we don't realize that when we you know, feel a shift, it can be energy that we picked up a few days ago and we haven't like released, we're still holding on to it. So that's something to keep in mind. And that is my take on the full moon in Cancer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that we can stay connected. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sending you all so much love, light, peace, and growth, healing. And until the next sunrise or sunset, namaste.